This is day one and building an archway that leads into the magical fairy forest. When I brought this idea to dad, he said absolutely on one condition. The mower has to fit through the arch. So we're about to plan out where we're going to put the post for each side of the arch. So the first thing we need to do is drive up the mower and make sure it's gonna fit. What do I think about right here? I look good? Good spot. And don't forget to have your underground utilities checked before you dig. So my parents have all kinds of lights out here in the magical fairy forest and the tree house and with all of the rest of the lights in the woods. And they actually just had all their utility lines checked because they're having their underground utilities redone. So we know for sure it is safe to dig here. We're about to dig the post holes and you see this board over here? This is where we're gonna be like throwing our dirt so it makes cleanup so much easier. So we can just like drag out the board rather than trying to like lug out all the dirt. And if you look closely at this board, you might recognize these little paint splotches. This is the same board we use to paint our concrete pumpkins. Today I learned how to use post hole diggers. You guys ready for this? So you're gonna use the weight of them. We're gonna lift it up and let it drop. And then we pinch it. And then we're gonna do it again. Pinch it. Pick up the dirt. Whee! And then we do some more. The frost line here is like 24 inches, I believe. So we need to make sure we're going down at least 24 inches. Oh God, that's it. <laughs> How much more do we have, Mom? Another foot! Another foot! It's 22! What do you think, is that close enough? We're getting close. Might <laughs> be a little bit further. Inches. <laughs> First hole is dug, time to do a little bit of cleanup and the cleanup is way easier having this board. It's super easy to shovel off of it rather than trying to get all the dirt off of the ground. So these sawhorses are from Lowe's and Lowe's is one of my favorite stores literally ever, but dad actually ordered these online. It's just something that I didn't know you could do. And he said that they came crazy quick, which is super awesome. So we're gonna use these sawhorses and turn them into a table. So to open the sawhorse, all you do is grab this little, this little lever thingy right here, fingers there. Bam, bam, and the legs just pop out. Wait till they click, and we're good to go. If you look at the paint sprays that are on this tabletop, this big board, this is what we use to spray paint our concrete mushrooms. Do it? No, you're gonna do this. <laughs> this is scary. We screwed these boards into our post and then we're moving around the base of these boards to just temporarily make this stand up straight so it can kind of like be level. And then once our post set, we can take these boards off. Oh, <laughs> so heavy. We were going to use concrete to set these like posts but this is very heavy and it's a lot to work with. And you guys know we've worked with concrete a lot in the past, so we wanted to try something different today. At Lowe's, we saw this stuff, Psyca Post Fix. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. It's basically like a foam that is super lightweight, obviously, and it sets your, your posts. So we're gonna try this today for the first time ever and see if we like it. And if we like it, I'm gonna be super, super excited because it's way lighter than concrete. Another plus of this is that concrete would take overnight to set. This is supposed to set in like 15 minutes. So we'll see if it does. Wait, it actually looks like it sets as fast as three minutes. We're gonna have to do this really fast. All right, we're gonna try this stuff for the first time ever. We roll it towards the center. These are two different like liquids that I'm assuming are gonna create like a chemical reaction together. When you roll it towards the center, it's supposed to burst the seal. I am weak. For real. Is it just supposed to burst? Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm rolling out the last ounce of toothpaste. Can you try it, Dad? I I'm will. genuinely like, <laughs> okay, you gotta take the gloves. This is very strange. Watch it just be pop. All right, now that I loosen the pickle jar for you, let's see how easy it is. <gasps> there it goes! Oh. And I take it along the edge to mix it back and forth and back and forth. How long is 15 seconds? Must be 15 seconds. Whoa. I cut this little edge. And 
And one of these is supposed to replace 50 pounds of concrete. The bag feels warm. The bag feels warm, mm -hmm. so good chemical reaction. Wow, it's really foaming. This is crazy. It's rising. Ooh. Wow, it's expanding so much. What happens if it comes over the top? You saw it off. You saw it off? Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. This is so wild. When we were pouring it in there, I really was thinking, this is not going to be enough. I did not know how much this was going to expand. I actually thought maybe we didn't get it mixed up enough because I thought it was going to come out like that. It's still growing. <laughs> it looks like it's almost done though. Might be like the perfect amount. Okay, take two. I'm gonna see if I can get it to burst this time. There we go. Okay, mix it around. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. Wait, that's been about 10 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. So they start fracking! These are left-handed scissors! <laughs> uh, you know, my pain. It's nice kind of knowing what to expect this time. It's been about three minutes. This should, in theory, be set. Let's touch it and see. That is crazy! It's a little sticky still, but generally speaking, that actually set in three minutes. A lot faster than concrete. I can't believe it was almost the exact right amount of foam. You know? Yeah. It looks really satisfying. It's really satisfying. This foam is not supposed to be left exposed to sunlight, so we're gonna cover it with dirt. Plus it'll look better. Easy cleanup. Look at that. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna try to use to build the arch around. In theory, we could just do it by itself because arches are extremely strong, but this is going to be a big arch, big enough for the tractor to drive through, and we wanted to have like a base to put it on. So this is galvanized metal, and it's actually a piece of a horseman's possibly a hog fence, but we bought it for horses. And I say we bought it, I was not a part of this because it was like 30 years ago. So like around the time that I was born, <laughs> this metal was purchased for the horse's stalls. And this piece of it was just never used and was just still in the barn. So recently dad cut it down. It was how, how wide, like this big? Yeah, big. About that big. And he cut it down. So it's gonna be the perfect size to make our arch. Hopefully we're gonna have it up off the ground for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's gonna work. <laughs> I think it's gonna work. That's really, really cool. Be really How strong. far off the ground do you want it? Probably like that, yeah. Yeah, up there? Oh, if you want, we can even drive the tractor under to make sure. All right, we're testing it out. See if it'll fit in the bar color. It's big enough. It's big enough. Are you ready? Taller. Little brackets are just left over from hanging up closet shelving and they fit perfectly around this. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Whoa, why is it blue? Like saw blade, so it's not some cool magical tree. No. That's sad. Our archway base is built. Over here is the wood pile. We are going to be using these branches to build out the arch. These are cedar and these are all branches that my parents cut off of their driveway. So their driveway is like a half mile long and the branches will come out over the driveway and then you can't drive down the driveway. So these are branches that they've cut off around the driveway. We're looking at it now and we're really not sure if we're gonna have enough branches to cover the entire arch because we're gonna like put these little pieces on this whole arch to try to build a beautiful wooden archway. You think we're gonna have enough, Dad? I hope so. We are going through and laying out all of the limbs so we can kind of look at them. Like this one is a really, really good curved piece that will go really well, like right here on this part of the arch. 
Some of them are thicker. Some of them are thinner. Wow, that one's actually really, really big. And this just makes it a lot easier to look at what we have and decide where we're gonna cut them rather than when they were just in like this pile. We are going to spray paint this part of the arch so it will blend in more just like a brown color, but I'm not gonna film this part because I don't wanna risk getting spray paint on my lens. The journey has officially begun. We're thinking that we can alternate between twisting wire around these branches to get them to stay and then screwing the branches together, the different pieces of wood together. Mama, it's looking good. Wow. Just wow. Like it's really, really starting to fill in. Dad, what do you think? I love it. We are back out in the magical berry forest and today we're trying to finish our wooden arch. My parents are gonna be gone for about an hour, so Josh and I are gonna see how much we can get done before they get back. A lot of trees, you know, grow in a straight line. And so we're looking for curved ones to go along our arch. So we're taking a look at branches like this and realize we can cut them like here and here. And then that gives us our arch shape. My parents are home. Hey. Hi. Are you done yet? <laughs> Not yet. Looking oh, good, right? You got a lot though. <laughs> it's coming together. Wow. We should have stayed gone longer. <laughs> I'm putting in earplugs because to me, the sound of the drills is like very, very loud. So I, I can't drill without earplugs. And on the topic of safety, I'm also going to be wearing my goggles, glasses, safety, safety goggles, safety glasses, whatever these are called. building our wooden archway and is finally complete. All we have left to do is add the fairy lights. I feel like the fairy lights really tie everything together. This is so beautiful. It is so magical. This project was so much fun. Now the only thing left to do is wait until it gets dark and see what it looks like at night with the magical fairy forest. It's officially nighttime in the magical fairy forest. We're starting here at the entrance sign and look to our right. And here is our beautiful completed wooden archway. This project was so much fun. I think it turned out just seriously so beautiful and it definitely elevates the magical fairy forest. <laughs>